Good morning everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make a homemade recycled bug hotel. So the whole point of this was to think about what materials you might have lying around your house to design and make something, like we would do in a normal technology lesson. Difference is, you're going to be using some of the things that you can find. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how to build a bug hotel using a milk carton. Just a normal standard four point milk carton that you can use after obviously drinking your milk. So the main focus is on making yourself your bug hotel is one, recycling sustainability. Obviously we want to try and save the environment, recycle some of the uh, plastic milk bottles that we're consuming on a daily basis. Also it gets you out about outside if you're able to go to a local park or woods near to your house. If you're not able to go to a local park or woods near your house, then don't worry, there's loads of things inside your house you can use as well. I'll give examples of both. And number three, have a bit of fun, enjoy, pop it in your garden. But I'm also gonna be talking a little bit about aesthetics and the way it looks and how you can make it better. Because for GCSE, if you're looking to do technology for GCSE, one of the major factors about you doing well in that course is aesthetics and the way something looks and why someone might buy your product over somebody else's. So it's about selling yourself, selling your design and creativity. Aesthetics is also really important. So there are the three objectives. Have a little watch of the video. I'll take you through each bit step by step of how to make a bug hotel and a few photos uh, of the example that I made and a couple of examples. One that I've already shot bought that's been in my garden a year or so. Another one that I've made out of wood you may not be able to do that, but I talk about it anyway, just so that you've got a bit of an understanding. And then the milk carton one, which you'll see a step-by-step -step guide how to make later on. Enjoy. So I'm up in the woods behind my house, collecting things for our bug hotel. You can see that sticks like this would be an absolutely brilliant thing for the bug hotel. Um, you've got some leaves which you can collect. All this dry wood is really good. The bugs love that sort of thing. Um, it's really easy to shape as well and cut. You don't have to worry about trying to break it up at all because it snaps really easily into the size that you need. Have a look, see what you've got. Sticks on the floor. We saw some pine cones earlier, they're good. Um, lots of things you can be putting in a bug hotel. They like anything. Um, but you need quite a lot to be able to fill your milk cart. If you can't find any sticks, leaves, that sort of thing, stones are just as good. The bugs like lots of really small, confined areas. So the main thing is get as much as you can to fill up your milk jar. So if you don't have a wooded area like this around you, then don't worry, there's loads of things around the house that you can, uh, you can find for your bug hotel. So just found a, a log with lots of dried leaves. This sort of thing here is ideal absolutely ideal and the dried logs they really like the bugs and as I said easy to cut so as you can see after a five ten minute walk found lots and lots of sticks and then there's the dried leaves going in collect as much as you can found some red leaves they're good for padding out but they also give the bug hotel a different aesthetic nice blast of colour really makes a difference. So quick take five for you. Number one, what type of plastic is a milk carton? Number two, how many categories are plastics grouped into? And number three, can plastic biodegrade? So as you can see, We've got a bag full of all sorts of different things that we can fill our bug hotel with. The first thing you're going to need to do is to cut out a hole, a section, out of your milk carton. You need to use scissors for this. You need to be really careful because cutting the side of the milk carton is not going to be easy. So please be careful. The best way to do it is to squash your milk carton and cut from the side. You will make a little slit in it. You should be able to get then get your scissors in. Please be careful with it. This is the most dangerous part of building your bug hotel today. Once you've got to that stage, 
you'll be able to see from this picture that's what we're aiming it to look like you don't have to follow the suit you don't you could have a different shape in the front if you want to you could have um, a slightly bigger slightly slightly smaller hole entirely up to you feel free to copy my design if you would like and then it's getting to a stage where we just need to start filling our milk carton with all different things that you found the one thing you need to be really conscious of is that all of the different things that you found need to go inside your milk carton to fill the space. Bugs like small confined spaces. So you want to keep filling and keep filling. And you can see from these photos that I'm showing you now, there are lots and lots of different areas that are being filled in with twigs, sticks, leaves, toilet roll tubes, everything that I've found out on my walk. Don't forget you can use things around your garden if you don't uh, or don't have any woods or anything to go to. Bits of twigs in there just building up the leaves. As I said earlier about the red leaves that you can see, it adds a little blast of color that isn't just green or brown. Looks quite nice for the aesthetic, which is the third objective. And just keep building and keep building until you get to the stage where your milk carton is completely full. Don't forget to fill the top of your milk carton so that there's leaves out the top because bugs might also be able to gain access from the top. And that is pretty much it. Now that it's all full, you can see from the different photos I'm showing you now, that the carton is completely full with as many leaves, twigs, sticks as you can. Once you're happy and you've filled your milk carton up, you've got two options. You can leave it exactly as it is, if you would like, and pop it in your garden, just like the photo at the very beginning that I showed you. Or you could paint and decorate the outside of your milk carton. You might not like the fact that it's white. You might want it to blend in a little bit into a brown fence or some green bushes. So you could paint them to decorate, to try and make them look a little bit different. So this is a shop built bug hotel. And as you can see, they've used bamboo cut up into lots of little sections to make the holes. There's some round wooden dowel in there in the middle with some holes drilled in. So if you've got anything like that, drilling a few holes into that would be great. And as you can see, some pine cones down the bottom. They've painted theirs uh, which was a green, it's been in my garden a little while now. It was a green to match and blend in. So that's quite a nice idea for yours. It'll blend into the rest of the garden if it's green. And then I have also got another one which I've made. So here's the other one that I've made. This is just four pieces of decking board, which is pressure treated. So pressure treating is when, when the wood is dried out, they add a chemical to it and it makes it a bit lot more water resistant. You might not have that sort of wood at home. It's quite expensive, um, but it just makes it last longer. Any wood will do. It takes about four or five years for wood to start to rot. Um, pressure treated wood lasts for a guaranteed 10 years minimum. But as you can see, I've made these tubes. I didn't have any bamboo, so I made the tubes out of old bits of cardboard roll that I'd have for um, wrapping paper, the inside of wrapping paper. Um, you can see we've got twigs, we've got some pine cones. And the construction of this is really simple. Four pieces of wood, cut down, screwed together. Nice and simple, easy glue. But I couldn't find anything suitable for the back, so I've had to use a piece of MDF. And MDF is not pressure treated, so that back will start to rot. But I wasn't too worried, because the uh, as it rots, it's going to leave some extra holes for the bugs to move into. So you can see, you can have lots of different variations of bug hotels. A recycled one, a homemade one, or hidden in there, a shop bought one. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for giving it a go and seeing how you get on. Please send me via email d.pain at pcs.hance.seh.uk all of your photos that you might have of your bug hotels so that I can see them. It'd be really great to see what you've been working on. If you've got any questions, email me or pop it on Teams, entirely up to you. Uh, if there's any questions about building, any questions about any other projects that are coming up, good luck. I wish you all the best. Have fun and send me some photos. So answers to the take five. Type of plastic is a milk carton. It's HDPE, high density polyethylene. You can find that out by looking at the bottom of the carton. There'd be a little symbol. Number two, how many categories are plastics grouped into? There are seven categories of plastics. There's about 30, 35 in total. 
And uh, number three, can plastic biodegrade? Yes, it can, but some plastics take thousands of years for them to degrade 